Let's talk about Ronaldo. We talked a lot with Roy Keane about Ronaldo. You, you weren't always convinced. He played in front of you for a couple of seasons as a teenager. You weren't that convinced to start with. No, I think there are three phases to his career. So the first couple of years at United where he scored six goals in his first year, nine goals. You were tolerating him in a way because I'd been used to having a person in, playing in front of me as a right back and David Beckham had a great relationship. I knew where he was going to be. He tucked him when the ball was on the other side. He'd make sure he'd double up. Cristiano Ronaldo did none of those things. He never complied with the defensive structure of the team. So actually you were tolerating him from a defensive point of view and then in an attacking point of view, he was erratic. And all of a sudden, after a couple of years, the numbers came. So all of a sudden, when he switches over to the left wing or goes to centre forward or doesn't track back, the numbers, 30 goals, 20 assists, 40 goals, 25 assists, and you can tolerate anything. So he went from being somebody who was frustrating to someone who was absolutely exceptional and then continued. So the type of goals that Mbappe scored today was the middle part of his career. We're now entering into the latter part of his career, which is a different phase where he's actually now the best centre forward in the world, without a shadow of a doubt. And his box work is absolutely brilliant. And like I say, he's, he's transformed himself from being a player who's young, erratic, to someone who's absolutely brilliant and can score goals like we saw today from him. Like, we want to show people this, because I wonder if also he shows his leadership skills. This is the Euro quarterfinal penalty shootout against Poland, and he says to Moutinho, as we can see on this clip now, I trust you, come, come and take a penalty, you hit the ball well. It's a proper he's a leader, he's, he's a proper skipper. I mean, especially, you know, he's done everything until this tournament uh, in France. He's done everything at the club level, and, and he really wanted to win it with uh, something that Messi didn't do. OK. Maybe it's like, like a battle between two of them. But, but he's a proper skipper. He's he's unbelievable player. And as Gary said, like the way he changed his game. And when he lost a little bit of pace, he couldn't run up and down that left wing. Mm. When he's playing like a proper number nine and scoring goals from the yeah. box. Unbelievable. I've never been a big fan of um, people telling people who've got to take penalties. Well, that's another issue because I think that's completely individual thing, but you can see where he's, he's going with it. But didn't it make Moutinho think, oh, Ronaldo trusts me, he trusts me to maybe, score, so might, I feel maybe, better. Maybe, maybe, if he'd have missed it, he might have felt differently, sure. but and penalties are such an individual thing for me. But I think, as Gary said, his development as a player, naturally as you get older, you, you, your brain gets bigger, as in the information that you've got and the, and the experience, and your legs start to get weaker. And I think the transition from an older senior player for him has been seamless and he is in that, you know, the sort of, I say autumn of his career, but getting towards the, the, the peak and beyond. And I think he's, he's done it in such a way and changed his position and changed the emphasis on what he does and his tricks and everything are still there, but the, the actual power and the, the benefit of you get from him are all at the pointed end of the, of the pitch now, which is brilliant. What happened there is probably most definitely they couldn't find five players who were willing to yeah. take yeah. it. Yeah. And then, then it's up to the uh, coach, the manager or the skipper. And it was the skipper it, it, there who said, come on, Joao, you are good in that. It's my responsibility. It's in God's hands or yeah. whatever. So if you miss, don't so blame you, yourself. Yeah. But the leaders take risks. Because if, if Moutinho had missed that penalty, he'd have been seen as someone who was bullying a younger player, went against his wish. I pick up on Lee's point to try and f force someone to do something they don't want to do. But he is willing to take risks and he has become a leader. And like you say, that transformation in his, his character is completely different as well, not just his performance.